Lisa, the Boston Police Reform Task Force delivered its final recommendations today, four months after the mayor declared racism a public health crisis in the city. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live for us in Boston tonight. And Mike, the mayor was happy with the report. David, the mayor is pleased the task force was able to come up with the recommendations in such a short amount of time. He says the changes will guarantee justice for all in public safety. And I will use every tool at my disposal to make this a reality. The Boston Mayor Marty Walsh accepts the final recommendations from the Boston Police Reform Task Force. Walsh created the panel back in June when he declared racism a public health crisis in the city following massive protests in the wake of George Floyd's death. These are bold steps. They will mark a new era in Boston in police practices and community relations. The recommendations include creating an office of police accountability that has subpoena power, setting up a diversity and inclusion unit within BPD, enhancing use of force policies, and expanding the body camera program. The discussions about systemic racism Injustices, inequality, these discussions have to be had. The task force, chaired by former U.S. Attorney Wayne Budd, is made up of police officers and community leaders. We knew that accountability, transparency, and enforceability would be a very important part of the work that we were to undertake. Boston Police Sergeant Eddie Crispin is part of the task force. He's also the president of the Massachusetts Association of Minority Law Enforcement Officers. I think most of us understand that change has to happen. It's going to improve our department. It's going to improve uh, the way the public perceives us. And it's going to um, improve uh, our ability to interact with the community. And the mayor is committing to implementing these recommendations within 180 days. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.